A lot of patients with osteoarthritis are asking about the specific foods and drinks that they need to limit and avoid if they are suffering from joint pain. In this video, you will learn about it. Greetings again to everyone. This is again Doc Sherry, Doctor of Physical Therapy. If you're new here in my channel, I would like to personally welcome you to please join our growing community where you will receive weekly health videos on a weekend that will surely benefit our beloved seniors, you and the people you love. If you have osteoarthritis, you will have stiffness, especially in the morning, and you will also have pain and difficulty with movement. Besides the medications that your doctor have already given you, and irregardless if you have or have not gone through surgery, the foods and the liquids that you take in are equally as important for you to be functional, independent, and pain-free on a day-to-day -day basis. If you have osteoarthritis, limit asparagus, peanuts, cauliflower, and mushrooms. Yes, I know these are all vegetables. However, they have moderate purine content. Purine compounds are those compounds also found in meat and organ meat which can trigger inflammation and can give you pain. You can eat them but limit yourselves to having one half cup only, maximum only of four to five times per week. Then you can choose for other alternatives. For asparagus, you can opt for leeks. Leeks are actually high in quercetin, a compound that has anti-inflammatory benefits. These are good for people with osteoarthritis. For spinach, you can switch it to romaine lettuce for your salad. You can also change cauliflower to broccoli. Broccoli have lower purine content as that of cauliflower. And then for mushrooms, you can change it to having bell peppers. Bell peppers are boosting with vitamin C, which are considered building blocks for collagen, which is needed for cartilage health. Good for persons with osteoandromatoid arthritis. Avoid French fries. Although French fries can be very tempting and it is one of our comfort foods, French fries can actually worsen your joint pain. This is because the oil that is used in French fries are actually a form of omega-6 fatty acids. These fatty acids have been linked with inflammation and can lead to many chronic diseases like for example osteoarthritis. Plus, the sodium and the seasonings that we put into french fries are actually composed of MSG. This will exacerbate any existing inflammation that you have in your body. Instead of having french fries, you can alternate it with sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes can be baked or you can just boil them in a little amount of water. Sweet potatoes are boosting with fiber and it will help you with weight loss. Something very important for as much as osteoarthritis management is concerned. Avoid sausages, corned beef, hot dogs, and other types of processed meat. Although very convenient to cook, these processed meat are actually loaded with saturated fats. Saturated fats are the type of fat that remains solid at room temperature, but when taken in by our body, it has the capacity of blocking our arteries leading to stroke and even heart attack. In the case of osteoarthritis, your cartilage is the one that cautions two bones, preventing it from rubbing each other. But if you consume processed meat, these saturated fats tend to deposit in the cartilage. It changes its metabolism and it can weaken your cartilage. We don't want that especially if you already have a painful knee because this can really worsen your condition. If you have osteoarthritis, home-cooked meals are best for you. If you are busy and you don't have time, you can pre-plan your meals. That way, you don't have to be tempted to reach out to processed meats. You need to avoid pizza, white rice, pasta, cakes, and pastries. 
These are all examples of refined carbohydrates. Although our body needs carbohydrates, you need to understand that not all carbohydrates are the same. We have unrefined and we have refined carbohydrates. Unrefined carbohydrates are the one that contains fiber, vitamins, and minerals. But once they are processed, it will give us refined carbohydrates, which is devoid of these important nutrients. When you eat refined carbohydrates, you will have short bursts of energy. But once the short burst of energy is over, you tend to be hungry and you tend to crave for more food, leading to more calorie intake and weight gain. One mainstay management for osteoarthritis that is oftentimes overlooked is weight management. For the patients that I see, even if they already had total knee replacement, they can still feel the difference and they can feel the pain again every time they add weight. Always remember and take note of what I have told you. Every pound that you put up in your weight is equals to 4 pounds additional pressure on your already painful hip and knee joint. So instead of using or eating white rice, choose brown rice. And instead of choosing white bread, opt for whole grain breads. If you are suffering from knee osteoarthritis, I have a video here. Please click it. It will definitely help you. Please take one second of your time to click the like button if you find this video helpful so far. That way, I will know that you are learning something from my videos. Avoid organ meats. Meat consumption had been linked to people with gout. The type of arthritis that can cause pain and swelling usually in the big toe. But studies have shown that consumption of organ meat such as liver and kidney would also give you more joint pain in patients with osteoarthritis. This is because organ meats are high in purine. Purine are compounds that can cause an increase with your uric acid level. Excess of uric acid will lead to the formation of uric crystals which can go to your joints and it will give you pain. You can eat in moderation chicken, beef, and pork. You can just remove the fat part and then you can also have for your protein nuts and then tofu. These are rich in calcium, it has magnesium, and it would also help you with the inflammation and it can decrease your pain. Cashew nuts, for instance, is actually high in protein and it has high antioxidant level. It can protect your cartilage and will prevent the worsening or the progression of your osteoarthritis. You also need to avoid butter and margarine. Butter and margarine are actually a form of trans fat. They are major inflammatory aggregators. Instead of using butter and margarine, you can use canola oil and extra virgin olive oil. It is rich with omega-3 fatty acids that can lower bad cholesterol, plus it will help you with joint pain. Extra virgin olive oil to be specific has Oleco Cantal which can protect you from worsening of your cartilage and the breakdown of your cartilage with osteoarthritis. If you have access to avocado oil and walnut oil, that would be best because walnut oil actually has 10 times more omega-3 content than extra virgin olive oil. If you have joint pain, you need to avoid anchovies, scallops, sardines, and trout. These are the type of seafoods that are actually high in purine. Purine, again, mind you, can increase your joint pain. You can, however, eat in moderation other fish and other shellfish not mentioned. You can have crabs and shrimps. Maybe two to three pieces will do. Just remove the head part. For fish, it is best that you go for tuna and for your salmon because it is rich in omega-3. You need to avoid desserts. Sorry to tell you, but you need to limit and avoid ice cream and chocolates because despite the fact that it can give you weight gain, it can also speed up inflammation in your body. Instead of having ice cream and chocolate, you can go for desserts that would be good for you such as fresh blueberries and fresh pineapple. Do you know that fresh blueberries have high antioxidant power 
and also fresh pineapples will give you the enzyme bromelain. Bromelain in many studies have been proven to have effects same as that of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs that can help you relieve arthritic pain. For your drinks, you need to avoid sodas and energy drink. They are all filled with sugar. And sugar actually can rob your bones from calcium because it allows your body to excrete more calcium and magnesium. Plus, sugar have also been shown to lower your levels of vitamin D, which is supposedly needed for your bone and for your stronger immune system. You need to avoid all alcoholic beverages. Beer and wine does not go well with the medications that you have. For example, for non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, if you pair it with alcoholic beverages, you are most likely to have gastric ulcers. Plus, methotrexate, which is a common anti-rheumatic drug, if taken together with alcohol, will put you at risk for having liver injury or liver damage. These are the foods and the drinks that you need to avoid if you have osteoarthritis. Should you have any questions regarding osteoarthritis, please comment down below because I would really get back on you. If you are currently suffering from joint pain and you want to have joint supplements, I have a video here. Check it. It can definitely help you. Please share this video to your friends and family members so that we are able to reach out to more people. This is again Doc Sherry. Stay safe, stay happy and healthy. God bless you.